Hey guys, back again with more shenanigans on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today Yukon Valley is out so we are going to be going to have a look at the map and obviously new missions so I'm going to do a couple of them Welcome to Yukon Valley, Chichuko From up here, you're able to see almost the entire reserve this looks like the spot to set the plane down. I'll pull up to the jetty and you can climb out. Good luck to you out there. Don't forget, I'm only a radio call away. I'm quite certain that you're the part of the puzzle that we've been missing out here. While I deal with paperwork and people, you're going to be my eyes and ears on the ground. We're going to be a strong team. I just know you. Okay, so here we are, Yukon Valley. Just for one of this place. Shame we can't quite see anything from this point. So. It's very pretty. I don't want to 
a little bit open, all sorts of trouble can come sniffing around. I think we got lucky this time. Thanks for taking care of that. Oh, one last thing. Before you move on, can you take a look at the firewood inside the cabin? Okay, so we're probably gonna have some charging grizzlies. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, I'm hearing grizzlies. Okay, so 
once you find a fallen tree, I want you to take a look at its bark. Does it look healthy? If so, it's probably not the tree we're looking for. Okay, let's go find this tree. This is the one. Okay, in that pack you should have a canister of paint and a nozzle attachment. Use them to paint a big pink X on the tree. And let's take a look around to make sure the beetles haven't started to spread. If you see a spruce in the immediate vicinity of the fallen tree, mark it. And our forestry team will come out and take care of it. If it's untouched, they can just spray it with pesticides to protect it. If it's already infested, then they'll cut it down and haul it away for burning. Great job. I hope we don't need to cut these trees down. But it's a small price to pay to contain the beetles. There we go. Another tree marked. This reminds me of my summer breaks when I was a kid, helping out my dad at work. He was a tree surgeon down in Washington State. I used to resent him for making me go out there and work while my friends played back home. Eventually, those trips also included hunting lessons. And that made them my favorite parts of the summer. That should do. I'll get in touch with the foresters. They can investigate the area and cut down what they need to. I'll make sure that they also pick up the firewood at Loggers Point. Don't want to take any chances. Thanks for taking care of this. It's becoming a full-on phobia of mine that these beetles are going to destroy the forest here. We sprayed pesticides across the western edge of the forest as a preventative measure earlier this month. But any new chemicals in the air, soil, or water make me uneasy. Okay. In the same bag that you found the paint, there should be some plastic sample containers. Could you bring them out to the musk... Oh, sorry. I mean wetlands? Musk egg is the word we use up here in Alaska. We're going to be grabbing some samples out there, so one of our research teams can test the pesticides and make sure they aren't having any effect on the ecology. This was actually my wife Sandy's idea. She runs the Yukon Valley Nature Center, so she's working closely with a visiting research team. going on up without us but okay
should take one. Pretty good. Look at this area. Just will pick up those need zones. I'm gonna move over there. I'm gonna find some droppings here, isn't it? from something else. Thank you. 
go. I'll do that should do it. Now we'll be able to tell if anything larger than a fly is ingesting chemicals that we should be worried about. It's hard work wading through the musk cake, huh? I have a spot where you can drop the samples off and I can easily pick them up. Oh, I just remembered. I've been speaking with my wife about the work you've been doing, and she mentioned a few tasks that she has on her plate that I think you could help her with. I gave her your number, so expect to hear from her. She's working on some very important studies at the moment. Hang on a second. I'm getting a call. Okay, I'm back. Slight change of plans. Before you drop off the samples, I need you to grab a hatchet from the outpost at the western edge of the flats. We have a bit of a situation out in the northwest corner of the reserve, and you're perfectly placed to take care of it. It looks like storms have weakened the roots of a tree, which is about to collapse onto the train tracks. Let me know when you grab the hatchet. Okay, so... I'm probably going to wrap this episode up here with just the first few missions. Um, but as this is a new map out, I will try and get videos more regular for the missions and just general hunts as well. So yeah, I'll leave this one here. And I will see you guys soon. Hey guys, so. I'm just going to add on a few clips from some multiplayer that I played um, and there was a little bit of a bug on like the red um, mountains which was a bit weird um, so I'm just going to put those clips in at the end. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.